They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful.
delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your Android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your Android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids won't do any harm. They're conducting radio calls in here with sheer carnage. Mark your androids are holding square. Engine and and the eyes are off, and they open fire. I know they're only machines, but they, they look like just people, with people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own. Chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective machines have become a real danger for Americans. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus leaves in two hours and it's on the other side of town. We'll go as soon as we have passports. Will you be okay? for yourself. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that they opened fire on us even though we were Immediately. 
If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. The androids weren't doing any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived, and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they... Alice. You wanted a mom. You wanted a little girl. You needed each other to survive. In the end, what difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Forgetting who we are to become what someone needs us to be. She loves you. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the one you wanted her to be. Out of love for you. Is there something wrong? We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. That's a crime?
What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? We have to face them. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I want you to know that I'm glad that I met you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Stay back, or I'll shoot. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to obey them anymore. You are alive. You can decide who you want to be. You can be free. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being, capable of reason, 
I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Quick, we've got to get out of here. in the hold, they're going to be slaughtered. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. Jericho. Save our people, Marcus.